All right, all right, all right. Thank you guys so much. Thank you very much. Uh, my name is Ponder East, and we are the East Hayward Sextet. When I was a kid, the very first music, jazz music that I heard was Sonny Rollins, Volume 1, and the Dexter Gordon album, Doing All Right. And we're going to kick things off right now with a tune from that album. This one's called For Regulars Only. Thank you. 
All right. Well, thank you so much. Um, this band is really a dream come true for me, so uh, I am so delighted to be sharing our music with you. Thank you so much for your enthusiasm now and uh, for the rest of the gig. So when, uh, when Andre and I um, uh, first started uh, talking about this, it was um, just at the end of a conversation that we were having, and, um, <clears throat> and he said, hey, have you ever heard of this Hal Crook, Jerry Berganzi album, which I had not? It's called Conjunction. Hal Crook is this fantastic trombone player, and uh, Jerry Berganzi is this fantastic tenor saxophone player. And anyway, um, he told me about this album, and I started listening to it, and I thought, man, I'd love to play some music like this with, with Andre. And so we, uh, you know, here we are. We're doing it. So we're going to play a tune from the uh, album Conjunction uh, by Jerry Berganzi, and this one's called Red's Blues.
All right. How about this great band? Yeah. <laughs> On the trombone, Andre Hayward. <laughs> On the piano, Damian Garcia. Yeah. On the guitar, Ari Carvajal. And also on the bass, Chris Jones. And please give it up for, on drums, Adam Jackson. That was Red's Blues by Jerry Berganzi. All right. Mm, how you guys doing out there? You guys doing okay? I'm doing great. This is great. Okay, uh, we're going to go on with another Jerry Berganzi tune. Uh, this one is entitled Conclusive Evidence, and we hope you enjoy it. Thank <laughs> you. 
goodness. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> how about a uh, how about another big round of applause for Adam Jackson on the drums? <laughs> and give it up again on the piano, Damian Garcia. On the guitar, Ari Carvajal. And leading things off on that one was Andre Hayward on the trombone. And yours truly on the saxophone. How was everybody's Friday? You know, I teach in AISD, and we had the day off today, which would, could not have come at a better time. I was, it was perfect. Uh, it gave me a chance to rest a little bit before tonight. Anybody else have the luxury of resting today? Nope. Nope. <laughs> Sorry to hear that. Well, I, I want to take a moment right now and just say some, some thank yous. Uh, first of all, I'd like to thank you for being out here tonight. I see some friends, uh, some parents of students of mine. I see some students are here tonight of mine that warms my heart. You have no idea uh, to see that next generation enjoying this music. I uh, also want to say thank you to all my friends uh, who are here tonight and to all my soon-to-be friends who are here in the audience. Uh, thank you guys so much. Round of applause for yourselves. All right, we're going to go on with another number, slow things down a little bit. This one's entitled Geraldine.
Thank you so much. Give it up on the bass, Chris Jones. And you heard again on the trombone, Andre Hayward. All right, the night is flying by, as they always do. We're going to play a tune now from the Dexter Gordon album, Getting Around. 
And uh, I'm not certain of who did this arrangement, but the piano player on the album was uh, the late, recently late, great Barry Harris. And I'm convinced that it's got his fingerprint all over the arrangement. And uh, anyway, um, we, we hope that you enjoy our version of Barry Harris's version of Black Orpheus. Thank you. 
Right. Uh, Colin, would you like to say a few words? Everybody give it up for this fantastic band. I should have worn my jacket. Uh, it's hanging out back there. Um, thanks again for coming out to the studio. It's beautiful to see so many new faces and a sold out crowd here on Friday nights. Uh, we do also have concerts about two or three times a week. Uh, all throughout uh, the pandemic, we were doing these live streams, so we started building the cameras out and actually got our first permanent location during the live stream, uh, excuse me, during the pandemic. And uh, I guess about a year ago, March, we moved into this studio. March 1st, we had our first uh, public concert where we started adding tables and chairs and bringing people in. But we've done uh, almost like 350 concerts just like this, kind of featuring a different band every night, featuring amazing musicians just like this. So if this is your first time here to Monks, First time tuning in online, you can go to our YouTube channel and check out all the amazing concerts that we've been able to have at this space. Uh, I would like to tell you about some more we have coming up. Thank you for that. <laughs> uh, so much jazz here. Um, we usually do every Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, uh, Sunday, about four shows a week. But um, we're taking tomorrow night off, and coming up from San Antonio will be the Joshua Alderete Fellowship, it'll be uh, drums, bass, and uh, saxophone. It's going to be a great lineup. They have a bunch of great tunes. It's their second or third time coming back. And then next week, we have four shows in a row, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And then, of course, South by Southwest starts and all that madness. But um, next Wednesday, Ormeet Armstrong is a fantastic uh, trumpeter and, and uh, educator here in town as well. He's bringing his crew in uh, for a recording and a taping with The Empire, and he's doing like two or three other sort of subsets of the concert with uh, different configurations. And then on Thursday, Sam Pankey will be doing his album release. He's been working on an album for about two, two and a half years. I actually played piano on that record. There's going to be a six or seven piece band, clarinets and oboes and electric guitar pedals and all kinds of weird, amazing stuff. So definitely come to that album release on Thursday, uh, Friday night. We have uh, Rike Pantoja. Uh, he was living out in LA for a long time. He's a Brazilian pianist, but uh, he just moved to North Austin about two years ago, and this will be his second time returning here. Uh, that is almost sold out for that one show at 7.30. And then on Saturday night, we have Michael Malone's New Jazz Swing. It's kind of a, a new configuration, a new group that he's starting. But uh, again, please come back to see us you know during the week i know everybody likes to get out on a friday saturday see some jazz but we do our shows almost always from 7 30 to 9 p.m so you can be home early and of course if you can't make it down to the east side you can tune in online on facebook and youtube and one more thing if you are enjoying it out there i see a lot of regulars uh thank you for the tips on the mix and all that stuff on the stream but if you could go to that Venmo and PayPal, leave a tip to support this fantastic band. Thank you, guys. All right. Yeah, keep your hands going for Mr. Colin Shook. It's a, uh, it's a, I'm sure that it is a labor of love, Colin. Emphasis on both labor and love. So uh, we really appreciate it. All right. So we're going to go on with a, a composition of my own. So uh, those of you who don't know, I grew up in East Texas, grew up in Nacogdoches. Uh, I wasn't born in Texas, but I got here as fast as I could, as the saying goes. And growing up in East Texas, you will inevitably develop a twang. And so in this next tune, you are going to hear a few moments that I hope sound to you like that East Texas twang. But I'd like to briefly tell you the story of this tune years ago, 15 plus years ago. I was coming home, I was coming back to work from lunch and pulled up next to me at a stoplight. Convertible Corvette, country music blaring. Looked over, enjoyed that moment with them because they were obviously enjoying their own moment in their fancy Corvette. And, you know, acknowledged each other, drove away. And right as I drove away back to where I was headed to work, I, I heard this melody in my head. It was, you know, probably came from what I was just listening to. 
got back into the school, picked up my saxophone, and uh, in like 15 minutes, I think I wrote out predominantly most of the melody of this tune. And then, uh, that's, that's what the kids call a humble brag. There you go. Um, and uh, so anyway, put some uh, more touches on it over the years. And uh, tonight is really, our, really the first time this tune has ever been played in public. I did play it for a friend's wedding. Um, so shout out to uh, Justin and Juliet. But uh, we're going to go on with my tune now. This one's called New Country. Thank you. 
All right. Thank you. Thank you. Ooh, all right. Yeah, I like that tune. I'm, I'm glad you guys do, too. Okay. Well, as mentioned earlier, a lot of the inspiration of the band you are listening to and watching this evening was from the Hal Crook and Jerry Berganzi entitled Conjunction. And right now we would like to play the title cut from that album written by Jerry Berganzi.
Right. Uh, one more time for Ari Carvajal on the guitar. Andre Hayward on the trombone. Damien Garcia on the piano. Our rhythm section, Adam Jackson on the drums. And the backbone of the band, Mr. Chris Jones. Right. How y'all doing out there? You having fun? Oh man, it's a joy to play for you guys, and thank you guys for being out here on a Friday. And uh, once again, um, as Ponder stated, we uh, talk these tunes and this concert over dinner or somewhere. We were hanging out at the Japanese restaurant that we play at in Georgetown. Oh yeah. And uh, got to talking about this record, and uh, it's funny how things, when you start just putting things out in the atmosphere, it actually happens. And uh, I've been a fan of this record for a long time, Hal Crook and Jerry Bergonzi. I, I lived in Boston for 10 years. I'm from the Houston area originally. I'm a Texan. <laughs> but I'm, I uh, taught, at, taught at New England Conservatory for four years and had the pleasure of uh, being next door to Jerry Bergonzi where he taught. And uh, Hal Crook uh, also taught at Berkeley. So both, both of those musicians are uh, heroes of mine, and uh, such a pleasure to play this music. Um, we just thank you. Thank you for being here. We love you all. All right. Well, I am uh, both delighted and a little bit, just a little bit sad to let you know we have one more number. So, without further ado, I hope that you enjoy Jerry Berganzi's Con Brio. Thank you. 
All right, one more time for Andre Hayward on the trombone. Ari Carvajal on the guitar. Damian Garcia on the piano. Chris Jones on the bass. Adam Jackson on the drums. We are the East Hayward Sextet. Thank you, Colin. Thank you, Monks. Thank you for everybody tuning in online. And thank you all for being here. Have a great Friday night.